Hi, my name is Kristen Clark with the Miami Herald and Tampa Bay Times Tallahassee Bureau. While nationwide the conversation about reducing gun violence has focused on gun control and potentially adding more regulations, here in Florida Republican lawmakers want to expand gun owners' rights. There are several controversial proposals on the table for 2016. One of those proposals involves Florida's controversial stand your ground law. Senator Rob Bradley wants to shift the burden of proof to prosecutors in self-defense cases, requiring them to prove why a defendant can't claim stand your ground. A compromise of that proposal is ready for a final vote on the Senate floor, but the issue lies in the House. The original version there, sponsored by Dennis Baxley, stalled in committee earlier this fall when lawmakers deadlock and didn't advance it forward. It was a rare defeat for the NRA, but there might be a way around it. Senator Bradley wants the Senate to approve his proposal and send it over to the House, where he's hoping that House Speaker Steve Crisafulli will take it up on the House floor without referring it back to committee. It's a risky move because it would break protocol, so we'll have to see how that unfolds. The other high-profile proposals on the table involve how somebody can carry their weapon. One would allow anyone with a concealed weapons permit to carry concealed on state college and university campuses across Florida while the other would allow anyone with a concealed weapons permit to openly carry their weapon anywhere they're currently allowed to carry concealed. Both of these proposals gained a lot of traction this fall through committee, but they're at a standstill. The issue isn't in the House. In the House, they've cleared most of their committees. In fact, the campus carry bill is ready for a floor vote, which isn't surprising because it actually passed that chamber last year. The hurdle lies in the Senate. Both the campus carry and the open carry bill await further hearings in the Senate Judiciary Committee. That's chaired by Miami Senator Miguel Diaz de la Portilla. He has the power to decide whether they move forward, and he hasn't yet said whether he's going to grant those bills a hearing. If he doesn't, they have a very real possibility of dying, but it's too soon to say whether that's going to happen. It is an election year, so it's unclear how much that could factor into the conversation when such controversial legislation is on the table. Politicians, especially in close races, typically don't want a controversial vote on their record headed into an election year. Stay tuned to MiamiHerald.com and TampaBay.com for updates throughout the session on these and other bills that we're watching in our Tallahassee Bureau. And also, follow me on Twitter for updates.